Far out in the remote northwestern Pacific, islands formed by an ancient volcano rise out of the sea. They're very, very hard to reach. It's very remote. It's maybe 500 miles from the nearest population center, so it gets very few visitors. It was like Jurassic Park pretty much. I was really impressed. These are the islands of Mog, an uninhabited paradise near the northern tip of the Mariana Islands. Mog is unlike any other place I've ever been in the world. You're in the middle of absolutely nowhere and you come to what looks from a distance just like an island and then you see that it's a big volcanic crater essentially and you're able to sail inside and it all of a sudden becomes not just this big roiling Pacific but almost this lake inside the ocean. Flat, calm, very pleasant with these big kind of walls rising up around you. And that just in love itself is, is special and amazing. Mog used to be a volcano that was up above the water, but there was a large eruption at some point and the whole top of the volcano collapsed down and it left this ring of three islands around that have openings big enough to drive a ship into and it's about a mile and a half across, so it's a pretty good size caldera inside. Within this caldera are unspoiled coral reefs. Coral diversity is impressive. There's areas where you have almost 100% coral coverage and just fields of coral and most pristine reefs that you could imagine. But what makes these waters of particular interest to scientists is what else can be found beneath the surface. You can jump in the water, dive down 30 feet, and feel that the ground there is actually hot, and you've got this hot water coming out and gas bubbles. I've heard someone say that it's like diving in champagne, and it absolutely is. It's not an exaggeration. It's pretty amazing. Volcanic gases are typically dominated by CO2. So when we heard that there were gas bubbles coming out within the coral reef area, something clicked and said, hey, this is an opportunity to go look at how volcanic CO2 might be affecting coral reef communities and use it as an analog to what's going on in the bigger ocean. The chemistry of seawater is changing throughout the world's oceans. Since the dawn of the Industrial Revolution, human activities have increased the amount of CO2 that is released into the atmosphere. The oceans naturally absorb a percentage of atmospheric carbon dioxide every year. As the levels of CO2 increase in the atmosphere, more of it will be taken up by the oceans as well. And this causes essentially a lower pH and a more acidic conditions. So this creates a situation where it's harder for corals or any other organism that forms a calcium carbonate or hard skeleton to actually lay down those skeletons and to calcify. This is known as ocean acidification. One of several effects elevated levels of CO2 is having on the world's oceans. It's predicted to severely impact coral reefs in the future. we could use this local volcanic activity to study that process in an experiment that's sort of set up by nature for us where the volcano is putting CO2 into the water and affecting the chemistry. And if conditions were right, we could possibly use that to study how ocean acidification might affect coral reefs in the future. <laughs> 